Hello, JNM here. Finally, we have a circular array feature for primitives in the JMesh Tools add on for Blender. Okay, so let me demonstrate it for this simple beveled object. This is Blender 3, and now I activate the primitive mode of JMesh Tools and add a circle. Control left click to add the circle, then S to scale, then I control click the gizmo to center it, and then I move it to the left. Okay, nice. Now I click this icon here, a shape action for the circular array. And then this UI appears where I can define the number of elements and the center point of the array. It can be the 3D cursor, but the default is the center of the face that I clicked when adding the primitive. All right, now I set the count to five, then I move the whole array upwards along the set axis, and then I press E to extrude the circles. Okay, now I press this shape action to define the Boolean operation. I set it to union, and then I press Ctrl left click the cylinders are created and unioned with the object. Okay, now I want to reuse the circular array, but when I click here, the center is off because new faces are created. At the moment, I'm working on a better solution. I'm refactoring this feature, but for now, the workaround is to use the 3D cursor as the center that can be positioned as you like. Okay, now the array is recalculated. I press S to scale the circles. And now I use this array to slice into the existing cylinders. So move it a bit to the upside and again press E to extrude. Then I set the operation to slice and press Ctrl left click to execute the Boolean. Now we can select this new object that is created, perhaps assign a different material and then press G followed by Z to move it a bit to the inside. Okay, but that's not all. How about cutting into the new object, again using a circular array? So again, I press Ctrl left click onto the new object to create a new circle and to center it to the face of the object to that we added the circle, I Ctrl left click the center of the gizmo. Again, I create the circular array, like that, and use the 3D cursor as the center. The counter set again to 5. And now we can use this array to cut into the new object. So I extrude again and set the operation now to difference. And now Ctrl left click to cut. And now you see this is a very simple way to create accurate circular objects using booleans. The feature is implemented and deployed already, but it is still under development. You can use it for the other primitives as well, but there's still a lot of work to do. For example, adjust the rotation for the primitives when they are circularized. I want to add different behaviors in edit mode, for example, using vertices or edges as center for the array, but it would be nice if you could send me your ideas. I can also give you special support when you get the add-on here from the Blender market. It is still for free on my GitHub, but when you get it from here, you support me and the Blender Dev Fund. Okay guys, that's it. I really hope you like the feature and the add-on. And if you like my channel, then please don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on my social media on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And if you'd like to support me, join as a channel member or as my patron. See you soon here on JNM.